Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and welcome to the five reasons I think Daki is an extremely powerful character, and I wouldn't be surprised if people start complaining about her being overpowered sometime soon. She's an extremely strong character for many reasons, but these are the five things that she has that I think make her completely crazy. Let's get right into them. The first thing is her armor attack, or her strong attack. It has basically anything you could ask for in an armor attack in this game. It's got long range, it can reach from really far distances, it leads to combos, it has a good single hit, it's not like Tanjiro where he can spin past you, so it's guaranteed to hit, good range, leads to combos, and it's safe and or plus on block depending on the spacing where it hits the opponent. Which is what makes it really ridiculous. Long range attacks? That's fine, Akaza has one of those. But she's safe or plus when she does it? Look at this range that this thing hits from. It's so ridiculous how far it hits from. Am I controlling, um, Sabito? Yeah. So I'm gonna get Sabito to block, and we're gonna both mash after she does her armor attack. As you can see, when we're close, it, we're, she's safe, so we both clash. But if I do it from more of a distance, it becomes plus. And thanks to her long-ass attacks, there's no way the opponent can contest with her at those distances. There's just nothing they can do. So it's either safe or plus, both of which are completely ridiculous for an armor attack in this game. So it is an extremely powerful tool. Extremely, extremely powerful. Just like, don't know what's going on, I could throw an armor attack, and it'll probably be fine. Even though the opponent blocks, I don't need to bother like sidestepping or cancelling out of it, And which is really important for her as a demon, because she can't summon a sidekick to make her armor attack safe, it's just safe on its own. Which is such, such a, such a, such a strong thing. It can be punished however if the opponent does push um guard push it correctly but that does take some correct timing and it's good that, th that she can keep it well that it is safe by default and the opponent has to be the one taking measures to make it punishable so that's just really good number two is actually also an armored attack she has her demon skill one is another armored attack that she has that is equally ridiculous. Let me list off why this move is amazing. It's an armored attack. Its armor starts up at about two frames, which is not something you can say for guard specials. It starts up, which hers starts up in about like uh, 12 frames before it becomes invulnerable. This one practically instantly armored. It has a massive hitbox. It's plus on block and it starts combos. It starts yellow combos, and it starts them for free. You get a free aerial dash up after this, from any range. And you just get to go for whatever optimal combos you feel like going for. It's crazy. It, it's got everything you could want. It's, it's honestly what I would call a god button. If you're in this range, like a few character distances, even if the opponent's sidestepping, pressing buttons, trying to move around because it's such a good big hitbox, you can just press this button, you're gonna be fine. It's gonna do something. You're gonna press this button and you're winning. If the opponent blocks it, you're plus on block. So it doesn't matter, you can just dash up, you're plus. You can even press buttons, because you're so plus. And like, there's just nothing they can do about it. It's plus, if they get hit by it, you're just mashing the dash button, so you're gonna get a combo. Like, it, it, it does anything you could want. So if they're in range of this, basically you're just like, oh, I don't know what to do, god button. It's crazy. This move does it all. Yes, it costs a demon skill, which is unfortunate, but if it didn't cost a demon skill... I don't know, I think she'd be deleted from the game. <laughs> it's an insanely strong special move, and um, if you're not using it, I suggest you try using it. The next thing that she has is, obviously, one of her biggest strengths. Her regular attack. Her regular attack, just like Rui, makes her an extremely strong spacing character. She can attack from ranges basically no other characters can, and it's what makes characters like Rui and Susamaru and Enmu so powerful, is that they can attack from distances where other characters, like Sabuto, just cannot contest. So if I do a pushback or something, I can attack from this range. I push back, attack instantly with my fast attack. I don't have to do my step forward attack, or an armor attack, or a grab to go forwards. Some characters do that. She can just attack from so many ranges that other people can, and this is such a powerful strength, especially when you consider how good her regular attacks are. But she can just mash like this, but also, her first two attacks have like, no recovery. She can do the staggers so good, 
that it's practically impossible to tell when she's going to continue her pressure. And this is terrifying <laughs> when you're fighting against her, because you never know when she's going to stop. Is she going to just press two buttons? Or is she going to press three buttons? Or is she going to press three buttons and go into a grab? There's just no telling because her buttons are so good. And just the fact that she has these massive disjointed buttons is good is good enough on its own. They don't need to have good frame data, but they have good frame data. So she can attack from distances other people can't attack from, and she can do it hella safely and lead to super strong pressure. Especially when you consider the other thing she has, like super plus on block or be assault. Which is so plus it actually leads to a true block string. Like all of this, true block string. The opponent has to do something, um, or they'll say guard will just get broken, guaranteed. Especially if you're near a wall, there's no escape. They have to do a guard push, they have to do something to escape. She's got amazing buttons, and it's ridiculous how often it just comes into play that you can do this. Also, if the opponent is like doing anything, like trying to summon a support or something, she is so good at just snuffing them out and to be like support what snap slap them out of here bitch slap them off the screen she, <laughs> she, she's the slap queen she can just get rid of anything with these massive attacks she has so big buttons is a big part of her gameplay and it makes her so so strong the next the fourth thing that makes her super overpowered is that she is plus frames galore any situation where you're doing anything you can make yourself plus if you want to get in from a distance She's got this like full screen dash and attack that deletes most projectiles and supports. She can dash cancel it to make a it plus. It's, it's usually unsafe, but she can just spend more meter. Plus. In your face. And while we're in your face. So plus, this is a true attack string and you can't escape it. Without doing a pushback. Ridiculous. And if I want to keep my plus frames after my combo, I can go for my tilt demon skill 2. And go for some OS resets, where if the opponent blocks, I get to go for a grab guaranteed. And if they don't block, well, I get a juicy-ass blue combo. So say I've done a really lovely long combo here. Oop. Okay, I've never seen that happen. I guess that was an awkward wall interaction. But as you can see there, I just dash, and I get a blue combo. And if the opponent blocks... Um, one hit guard. Uh, I'll just do a short combo. <laughs> so you end your combo in this. It's the same input, but you go for a grab pretty late, and you get the grab guaranteed. And if the opponent got hit, even if you went for the grab, you don't get the grab, because you dash up into the air, and you can't grab when you're in the air. So you get this, like, easy OS, where if the opponent gets hit, you get your juicy-ass blue combo. Whatever you like to go for. Oh my god, I can't believe that didn't kill. And if they block, you get to go for a grab. So she can keep plus frames at, at the end of her combos. She can keep plus frames when the opponent is blocking her in their face. She's really good at it, thanks to her Orbi Assault. And, you know, she can get combos off of it, even if they happen to get hit by it randomly. And she can get plus frames from full screen just by dashing in. She's plus frame galore. And I'm not even talking about all the plus frames she has off of her armored attacks. Like, that that's another whole thing. But she's plus frames galore. And the fifth thing that makes Darky so, so powerful is that not only does she have all of these strengths, like amazing plus on block abilities, amazing demon skills that are plus on block, armored, full screen, leave puddles on the ground where she can <laughs> leave these sashes and stand in and do all of this ridiculous stuff, easy conversions into combos, easy full screen plus frames, but she is so good at controlling her meter. Probably one of the best in the game, up there with Entertainment, um, Zenitsu and stuff, because he's that cool way of going into boost. She, her way of flowing and controlling her meter is so good that you don't even have to worry about doing random stuff with your demon skills. You don't have to worry, like, thinking about, maybe, am I wasting it? It's okay, because she is so good in boost mode. And what makes her good in boost mode? Well, not only is she a demon, so she gets to build back not only her life, I mean, not only her meter, but also her life, so she gets to build back about a third to a quarter of her life bar every time she goes into boost mode and part that regenerates. She gets back all of her demon skill and stuff, but she's also one of the few characters in the game that actually has a really beneficial boost combo ender. 
So this combo Endus she has in boost mode, oops, is actually good. Let me get rid of Samita so you can show what's really good about it. It does a good chunk of damage and it has a nice long hard knockdown that lets you build back about three bars of meter before the opponent even wakes up, which is so, so powerful. So not only do you get to build all of your meter back, but whenever you're in boost mode, you get to do about 4,500 damage combos, no matter what weird ass route you do. You can do like anything you want, just random buttons. Oh, okay, that was a few too many buttons. <laughs> but you can just do a bunch of buttons and as long as you ended her attack string, it's going to do a good, decent chunk of damage. This is very unoptimal, but just an example. Just end in this, you get up close to half of the opponent's life bar, and you can get to build back three bars of meter. So you basically get two boosts in one. Because you go into boost mode, you get all of your meter back and some life. And whenever you get a hit in boost mode, you get way more damage, and you get way more meter build at the end of your combos. From any combo. So she is just so good that you don't have to worry about spending all your demon skills and stuff. You're like, oh, I'm kind of wasting my meter a little bit here. It doesn't matter because you're honestly kind of um, encouraged to do it because when you go into boost mode, you're just that much stronger. You're like, yeah, if I spend all my stuff, that gives me excuse to go into boost mode where I am so much more powerful and I can do all these big damaging combos and just end in a super simple combo ender that'll give me everything back lickety split. <laughs> it's so, so crazy. And, um, yeah, those are five reasons that I think Daki is an extremely powerful, possibly even overpowered character. And I'm really, really excited to see how people react to her as the days go by, where she gets placed on tier lists and such. Um, I think it's only a matter of time before people start complaining about her, because I really think she's quite a threat. And, uh, yeah. That's Daki. I hope people don't complain too much because I really, really enjoy playing as her. She really fits my playstyle, and um, I, I don't want people to complain too much about me playing her. <laughs> but we'll see. That's Daki. I think she's immensely strong. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.